right now, in this very moment, you are already a winner. Maybe you don't yet feel like one, but that's about to change. Today, we're going to talk about why you're already a winner and how to start living like one. It's time to awaken to your true potential and realize the immense power that lies within you. Every morning, when you open your eyes, you've already won. You're given another day, another opportunity to create the life you desire. This isn't just a gift, it's a chance. A chance to make today better than yesterday, to take one more step toward your dreams. But there's one key thing, knowing you're a winner isn't enough. You must believe it deeply within your soul and act from that conviction every day. It doesn't matter what others think of you or what society tells you that you can achieve. What matters is what you know to be true about yourself. The mind is the most powerful tool you possess, like a supercomputer programmed over years by thoughts, beliefs, and habits. Some of these programs serve you while others hold you back. The good news? You can reprogram it. You can replace limiting beliefs with empowering ones. Start each morning by reminding yourself that you are a winner. Visualize yourself achieving your goals, feeling confident and strong. This isn't just positive thinking. It's a process of redirecting your mind. Every time you tell yourself you're a winner, you create new neural pathways. Visualization teaches your brain what to expect and how to realize it. But it's not all just about thinking. Winners take action. They don't wait for the perfect moment or others' approval. They create opportunities and seize them. Think about something you've been putting off. Maybe it's starting a business, writing a book, or having an important conversation. What's holding you back? Fear, doubt, uncertainty. These are just thoughts. They're not real. What's real is your ability to take the first step right now. From this moment, decide to act like the winner you already are. Think, speak, and behave like a winner. Winners don't make excuses, they find solutions. When faced with a challenge, they don't say, I can't, but instead ask, how can I make this happen? They know every problem has a solution. It's just a matter of finding it. And let's talk about failure. Many fear failure, but winners see it differently. They know failure isn't the opposite of success. It's part of the journey toward it. Every mistake and obstacle makes them stronger and wiser. Each challenge you've faced has prepared you for this moment. Who you surround yourself with is essential. Winners choose people who inspire them, challenge them, and believe in them. Surround yourself with people who support you and encourage growth. Seek mentors, join groups with similar goals, read books by people who have achieved what you aspire to. Your environment shapes your thoughts, and your thoughts shape your actions. Create a setting that supports your growth. But being a winner isn't only about personal success, it's also about the impact you have on the world around you. When you live as your best self, you inspire others to do the same. Your success creates a wave of positive change that touches many lives. Think of a person who made a difference in your life, a friend, teacher, or family member. They probably didn't set out to change your life, but through their actions, they inspired you. You have that same power. Gratitude, winners are grateful. They don't take anything for granted. Gratitude is like a magnet for all the good things in life. When you're truly grateful for what you have, you open yourself to even more. Take a moment now to think of three things you're grateful for. The feeling of gratitude, that's the feeling of a winner. But gratitude isn't just for the good things. Winners are grateful for challenges too, as they know these are opportunities for growth. Every obstacle you face is a chance to become stronger, wiser, and more resilient. Taking care of the body is equally important. Winners take care of their physical health because they know it's their primary tool in life. You don't have to be a fitness fanatic or follow an extreme diet. What matters is making choices that nourish and strengthen your body. You'll feel more energetic, focused, and ready to achieve your goals. And something else, self-talk. The way you talk to yourself is crucial. Winners speak to themselves with love and encouragement. Instead of criticizing themselves, they focus on their strengths. When they make a mistake, instead of saying, I failed, they tell themselves, I'm learning and growing every day. 
Instead of I can't, they say, this is a challenge, but I'm capable of overcoming it. This isn't about escaping reality or pretending everything is perfect. Choose to focus on what serves you. Learn to be your greatest ally and support because if you don't believe in yourself, how can you expect others to do so? Let's talk about goals. Winners set goals that inspire them, but also scare them a bit. These are goals that push them beyond their comfort zone. However, they don't stop at wanting. They create a plan to achieve them, breaking big goals into smaller, manageable steps. What's your big goal? The one that excites and scares you? Write it down and decide what small step you can take today. Winners celebrate every bit of progress. They don't wait for the finish line to feel proud. They celebrate small wins along the way. When you take the first step, celebrate it. When you overcome fear, celebrate it. Every little step forward is worth celebrating. In a world of constant distractions, the ability to focus becomes a superpower. Winners cultivate deep concentration because they know that multitasking is a myth. Real progress comes when you give full attention to one thing. Practice focus, starting with 15 minutes and increasing the time. You'll be amazed at how much you can accomplish with complete focus. Resilience is the key. Winners don't quit when things get tough. They keep going even when it's hard, even when they don't feel like it, even when nothing seems to be working. They understand that success isn't about never falling down, but about rising every time they do. Persistence doesn't mean sticking to the same tactic when it's not working. Winners are adaptable. They're willing to change approach, learn from experiences, and adjust strategies. If something isn't working, they're not afraid to seek help, guidance, or a new perspective. Time is an invaluable resource. We all have the same 24 hours in a day, but winners use it differently. They are intentional with how they spend their time, prioritizing activities that bring them closer to their goals and minimizing those that don't serve them. Look at how you spend your time. Does it align with your goals and values? Visualization is a powerful tool. Winners don't just imagine their goals, they see them with every detail, using their senses to create a vivid mental picture of success. This isn't daydreaming, it's a mental rehearsal. When you visualize success, you program your brain to recognize opportunities and solutions. Try dedicating a few minutes daily to this exercise, making it as vivid as possible. Everyone faces fear, fear of failure, of success, of the unknown. Winners feel fear too, but they don't let it stop them. Instead, they see fear as a sign they're progressing and expanding their limits. The next time you feel fear, instead of retreating, ask yourself what's the worst that could happen and consider the possibility that it may not be as bad as your mind suggests. Even if it is, you're strong enough to face it. Consistent actions become habits, and habits create long-term success. Winners recognize that real success isn't about one big move. It's about the small, steady actions you take every day. Reflect on your goals and find one small task you can commit to daily. These small, consistent steps add up to big results. Being authentic is key. Winners stay true to themselves. They don't try to be someone else. In a world that often pressures us to conform, being authentic takes courage. When you're true to yourself, you attract the right opportunities and people into your life. Being a winner is not a state achieved through external successes, but rather an inner attitude, a process of continuous growth and alignment with one's own values and goals. True winners understand that life is a journey full of challenges, mistakes, and opportunities to learn. And it is through these very challenges that they become stronger, more resilient, self-aware, and adaptable. Each day is a new opportunity to affirm faith in oneself, to take actions that move them closer to their goals, and to act in alignment with authentic values. The greatest gift winners give themselves is the ability to stay focused on what truly matters to them while cultivating gratitude for every small step forward. With consistency, patience, accountability, and a thirst for learning, they build a life on their own terms, inspiring others along the way to commit to their own growth and discover their inner strength. Ultimately, being a winner 
doesn't mean living without fear or failure. It's about facing them openly with confidence in the ability to overcome. It's a path on which we choose every day to be the best version of ourselves and to create a life filled with meaning and joy. Everything in this universe is energy. Every thought, every emotion, and every word vibrates at a certain frequency, shaping our reality. Words are the bridge between our inner world and external reality, and when we understand this, we open the path to consciously creating our lives. When we speak, our words are not just sound waves. They are energetic expressions of our thoughts and beliefs. Each word carries with it an emotional and energetic charge that attracts or repels experiences into our lives. Let's imagine a world as a field of infinite possibilities. Every possibility already exists in some form, health, love, abundance, all of it is already vibrating in the quantum field, waiting to manifest in our lives. What connects us to these possibilities is the frequency at which we vibrate. Our words, as extensions of our thoughts and emotions, reflect our inner frequency. Every time we utter a word, we emit that frequency into the universe. When we use words like, I hope, I need, or but, we unconsciously send signals that contradict what we truly desire. Take the word, I hope, as an example. At first glance, it may seem like an expression of optimism, but in reality, this word carries a vibration of uncertainty. When we say, I hope it will happen, we are not expressing confidence that it will happen, we are actually expressing doubt, the possibility that the desired outcome may not come to fruition. In this way, instead of aligning with the frequency of what we want, we align with the frequency of doubt, creating space for more uncertainty and obstacles in our lives. Now imagine the change that the word, I know, brings. When we say, I know it will happen, we shift the entire dynamic. This word emits a vibration of complete certainty and trust. Consequently, our body, mind, and emotions align with that feeling of security. That frequency attracts events, opportunities, and people that support that sense of security. Our awareness opens up to what already exists in the quantum field, to the possibility we wish to manifest. In this case, the word I know becomes the key that unlocks the doors to infinite possibilities. Similarly, the word I need carries a vibration of scarcity. When we say, I need more money, I need a new job, we are actually affirming that we do not possess what we want. Our focus is on lack, and the law of attraction operates by attracting what we focus on. If we constantly affirm that something is missing in our lives, we create even more situations in which we will feel that lack. The word I need emits a vibration of deficiency and keeps us in a state of constant searching rather than a state of receiving. If instead we say, I have everything I need to create abundance, we redirect our attention from what we lack to what we already possess. This statement has a profound impact on our subconscious. It affirms that we already have the resources within us, that we are already on the path to manifestation. This change in attitude opens the doors to gratitude, and gratitude is one of the highest vibrations in the universe. When we are grateful for what we already have, no matter how little, we attract even more things for which we can be grateful. Gratitude transforms our energy and aligns us with the frequency of abundance, which naturally attracts even more abundance. The word but is a subtle saboteur of our desires. When we say, I want change, but I don't have enough time, we unconsciously negate the first half of our statement. But creates a barrier, blocking the energy of manifestation. Instead, we can say, I want change and I find ways to create time. This statement has a different energetic charge. The word and creates space for possibilities, while but closes the door. By using the word and, our mind starts to seek solutions, opportunities, and ways to fulfill our desire. When we utter words, we are not only communicating with the world, but also with ourselves. The words we choose affect our inner state, our emotions, and our perception of reality. They are the key tools through which we align our vibration with what we wish to manifest. Each word is like a seed that we plant in the field of infinite possibilities. 
through repeated use of certain words, we nourish that seed with energy and allow it to grow. With every word, we can create our reality. When we consciously choose words that reflect certainty, gratitude, and possibilities, we enter a state of co-creation with the universe. Our words become instruments through which we manifest what we want in our lives. That is why it is important to be aware of the power that words carry. Every thought, every spoken sentence carries a vibration that can raise our energy or lower it. When we align with the frequency of abundance, security, and gratitude, the universe responds to those vibrations, providing us with opportunities and experiences that reflect that energy. Ultimately, the key to manifestation lies in the conscious use of words and the intentions they carry. Through words, we shape our world, now, here, in this moment. The frequency of our words not only shapes our personal reality, but also influences the collective consciousness. Every time we speak, we contribute to the vibrational tapestry of the universe. This interconnectedness means that our words can ripple through the fabric of reality, affecting not just ourselves, but those around us. When we engage in uplifting dialogue, we enhance the collective energy, fostering an environment of positivity and empowerment. Conversely, negative language can perpetuate a cycle of despair and limitation, impacting the broader community. It's crucial to recognize that our internal dialogue holds immense power. The way we speak to ourselves sets the foundation for how we perceive the world. If our inner voice is filled with criticism and doubt, we create a reality colored by those beliefs. By consciously shifting our internal dialogue to one of encouragement and love, we can transform our experience. Phrases like, I am worthy and I embrace my potential, not only lift our spirits, but also change the trajectory of our lives. This practice of self-affirmation acts as a catalyst for personal growth, allowing us to break free from the constraints of negative self-talk. Furthermore, the language we use when discussing our aspirations can significantly impact their manifestation. Instead of framing our goals in terms of what we lack, we can articulate them in a way that emphasizes their attainment. Rather than saying, I want to be fit, we might say, I enjoy my healthy, active lifestyle. This subtle shift not only reaffirms our commitment to our goals, but also aligns our frequency with the reality we wish to create. It's about embodying the essence of our desires rather than merely longing for them. In addition to affirmations, storytelling can be a powerful method for reshaping our realities. The narratives we tell ourselves about our lives form the core of our identity. By consciously choosing to share stories of triumph, resilience, and abundance, we rewrite the script of our existence. This storytelling process not only reaffirms our journey, but also inspires those around us to embrace their own potential. Our shared experiences become a source of strength and encouragement, creating a supportive environment for collective growth. Moreover, the practice of mindfulness plays a vital role in enhancing our verbal expression. By cultivating awareness of our thoughts and words, we can better discern which phrases serve us and which ones hinder our progress. Mindfulness allows us to pause before we speak, giving us the opportunity to choose words that uplift and inspire. This intentional approach to communication fosters deeper connections with others as we engage in conversations rooted in authenticity and compassion. The impact of our words extends to our physical well-being as well. Research has shown that positive language can influence our mental and emotional health, leading to better physical outcomes. When we speak kindly to ourselves and others, we promote a sense of well-being that radiates throughout our entire being. In contrast, negative language can contribute to stress and anxiety, creating a dissonance that manifests in our bodies. By choosing words that promote healing and positivity, we not only transform our mental landscape, but also support our physical health. In our relationships, the words we choose can either strengthen our bonds or create distance. Effective communication is a cornerstone of healthy relationships, and the words we use play a critical role in this process. By expressing our feelings and needs openly and honestly, we foster an environment of trust and understanding. Phrases such as, I appreciate you, or I feel valued when, create a foundation of love and respect, deepening our connections with others. 
Conversely, careless words can lead to misunderstandings and conflict, highlighting the importance of mindful communication. As we navigate the complexities of life, it's essential to recognize the role of words in shaping our legacy. The language we use not only defines our personal journey, but also leaves an imprint on the world around us. By choosing to speak with intention and purpose, we contribute to a legacy of positivity, empowerment, and inspiration. Our words can serve as a beacon of hope for others, guiding them on their own paths toward self-discovery and fulfillment. Lastly, the act of writing can serve as a powerful tool for transformation. When we put our thoughts and words onto paper, we engage in a process of reflection and creation. Writing allows us to clarify our intentions and articulate our desires more fully. Journaling our thoughts, dreams, and aspirations can help us track our progress and celebrate our achievements. This practice fosters a deeper connection with ourselves, reinforcing the belief that we are capable of manifesting our desires. In summary, the impact of our words reverberates throughout every aspect of our lives. By understanding the energy behind our speech, we can consciously choose words that empower, uplift, and inspire. Our language shapes not only our personal reality, but also the collective experience of humanity. Through mindful communication, positive affirmations, and intentional storytelling, we can harness the transformative power of words to create a life filled with abundance, joy, and fulfillment. Each word we speak is a step toward manifesting the reality we desire, paving the way for a brighter future. So, let's wrap this up. Every word we speak is like a little magic spell we cast into the universe. Seriously. Words are energy, and they have the power to shape our reality in incredible ways. When you start tuning into this truth, you realize just how much your language can transform your life. Think about it. When you say, I hope, you're sending out vibes of uncertainty. But when you shift to, I know, you're anchoring yourself in confidence and trust. It's all about that energy. Your words create a resonance that attracts experiences, people, and opportunities that match that vibe. And it's not just about the words we say out loud. Our inner dialogue is just as important. If you're constantly chattering away with negativity, you're going to experience more of that. But when you shift that internal conversation to one of empowerment and positivity, everything changes. Phrases like, I'm worthy, or I'm open to abundance, elevate your energy and set the stage for amazing things to unfold. Remember the stories you tell yourself matter too. When you share tales of triumph and resilience, you're not just inspiring yourself, you're uplifting those around you. You're part of this beautiful web of energy, and your words can ripple out and create waves of positivity. So next time you're about to speak, pause for a moment. Ask yourself, what kind of energy am I putting out there? Choose words that lift you up and connect you to the abundance that's already out there waiting for you. By doing this, you're not just manifesting your desires, you're contributing to a collective vibe of love, hope, and possibility. In the end, it's all about being intentional with your words and recognizing their power. You have the ability to shape your reality, so speak your truth with confidence and watch your life transform in magical ways. Every word you say is a step toward creating the future you want. So go ahead, speak from your heart, and let the universe respond.